San Francisco's cable car system is the last permanently operational, manually operated cable car system in the world. What's remarkable about these cable cars is that very little has changed since the Victorian era. How do these cable cars glide up and down San Francisco's steep hills bearing no sign of propulsion? What you'll find remarkable is how simple it is, and what's even more interesting is very little has changed since the 1800s. Come on, let's take a ride. Two bells is okay, let's go. So these cable cars are 27 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 15 and a half tons. They run along a track system that is set above a channel, and in the middle of the channel, there is a slot for the grips to grab the cable, which is inside the channel and constantly running. The bell is primarily used for communication between me and the conductor, like right now. Uh, we'll give each other bells to let me know when it's clear to back up. So it has different functions. The grip man does all the work. Grip man, I'm the captain of the ship. Conductor, he collects all the pairs, makes everything uh, safer in the back. Okay, young lady, you can stand down here. So the Powell and Mason lines only have one set of levers and grip. Therefore, this necessitates that the cable cars have to let go, coast on into a turnstile, turn around, and then go right back, not back up Powell Street. This is only done by manpower. Up until the 1970s, people waiting in line used to hop out and help the grip man uh, turn the cable cars around. And therefore, they would get better seats on the cable car for their ride up the steep, steep hill. Um, now people just have to wait in line. So there are three types of pulleys. You've got carrier pulleys um, that hold the rope and keep the cable uh, car moving along the track. There are crown pulleys at the crest of each hill, which are just like carrier pulleys, but they are larger in diameter to bear the extra tension at the crest of a hill. And then there are depression pulleys that are at the bottom of each hill, um, and they keep the pulleys down low. Otherwise, the pulleys, uh, the cable would come out of the slots at the bottom of each hill. Whew. Whoa, there you have it, Cable Cars San Francisco. Pretty fascinating. Thanks for watching, guys.